Well, there, there's, there's some people in the social entrepreneurship movement that have uh, created some very strict definitions of what a social entrepreneur is. And they're people who address uh, the marginalized and the disenfranchised. Uh, they start at a local level and then scale it to a, usually a global level. It works on the systemic causes and tends to be a complete solution. The problem with that definition, which, which these people recognize, is there's relatively few people on our planet who qualify as a serious social entrepreneur. It, it, it takes amazing a combination of skill and vision, fundraising, and rolling other people to help you, uh, understanding uh, systems and uh, incentives and uh, a very complex array of forces to be able to scale global solutions. So um, although I, I certainly respect that viewpoint, I, I think I would also say that um, anything that you do that helps people in need, helps relieve avoidable suffering, that is systemic and, and at least sustainable enough that it doesn't take much outside effort to keep the wheel of progress going, that that is a version of social entrepreneurship worth pursuing. So uh, there, there's a famous little coffee shop in Philadelphia that has adopted other coffee shops in developing nations around the world. And the primary uh, value of adopting this is through Skype kind of telephone technology that people in a coffee shop in Philadelphia can communicate with people in coffee shops in Ecuador and Bolivia and Africa and get better acquainted with what their lives are really like, what their worries are really like. And in the process, what happens is people in the American coffee shop send relief supplies, school supplies, educational supplies. They interact with their friends around the world. Well, does it meet all these criteria of scalable and, and uh, systemic? Or is it just a way to make a little business incredibly meaningful, rewarding, and significant? And perhaps that's a level of social entrepreneurship that many of us could pursue if we just put our mind to it.